gathered his team. Reluctantly, Lauren agreed. Under Jackson's supervision, the team worked tirelessly to upload the patch. The process was intricate, requiring precise adjustments and real-time monitoring. Tension hung thick in the air as they initiated the final sequence. As the system rebooted, everyone held their breath. The AI flickered to life, its functions stabilizing and operating at optimal efficiency. The room erupted in a mix of astonishment and grudging admiration. You did it, Emily whispered, a smile spreading across her face. Marcus exhaled in relief. We actually did it. Jackson, however, remained focused. This is just the beginning. We need to monitor the AI and ensure it remains stable. Their triumph was short-lived. As they celebrated, a shadowy figure slipped into the lab, tampering with their equipment. Jackson's keen eyes caught the movement. He rushed forward, tackling the saboteur and calling for security. The saboteur, an Empire scientist jealous of their success, was apprehended, but the incident left a lingering tension. Jackson realized that their presence was a threat to some within the Empire. As the chapter closed, Jackson stood in the lab, reflecting on their narrow victory. They had proven their worth, but the road ahead was fraught with challenges. The Galactic Empire had underestimated Earth scientists, but Jackson knew that their true test was just beginning. Jackson Carter sat at his workstation, the soft hum of the Galactic Empire's advanced technology filling the lab. The AI's successful stabilization had given him and his team a fleeting moment of triumph, but they knew the journey was far from over. The Empire's disdain for human ingenuity still lingered, and tensions ran. The same. It's the same story, but the only difference is the assignment. The AI operated Instead flawlessly, of a farmer. and the Empire's trust in them solidified. Jackson. Next. Alex Turner jolted awake to the sound of explosions reverberating through Sydney's cityscape. He sprang from his bed, adrenaline coursing through his veins, and quickly donned his military uniform. The Zarathians had finally launched their long-dreaded attack. The apartment shook as another blast erupted nearby. Alex glanced out the window, seeing plumes of smoke and fire engulfing the once serene skyline. His communicator buzzed urgently. Yeah. He grabbed it, already knowing who it was. Turner, get to headquarters immediately, barked General Vasquez's voice, cutting through the static. We're under full-scale assault. I'm on my way, Alex replied, grabbing his gear and racing out the door. The streets were chaotic, filled with panicked civilians and emergency responders. He navigated the chaos with practiced precision, his mind already strategizing. Upon reaching the heavily fortified military headquarters, Alex was met with a scene of organized chaos. Soldiers and officers hurried through the halls, coordinating defenses and counterattacks. He pushed his way into the war room, where General Vasquez stood before a large holographic map displaying the ongoing battle. Turner, we need a plan, Vasquez said without preamble his eyes never leaving the map. The Zarathians are hitting us hard and fast. They're targeting our key infrastructure and command centers. Alex studied the map, noting the patterns in the Zarathian strikes. They're following a predictable pattern, he said, his voice steady despite the urgency. They're confident in their technological superiority and expect us to respond conventionally. Vasquez frowned. What do you propose? We need to disrupt their command structure. Alex replied. A small, specialized team could infiltrate their mothership and take out their command center. It's risky, but if we succeed, we'll throw them into disarray. Vasquez looked skeptical. Infiltrate the mothership? Are you out of your mind? Desperate times call for desperate measures, sir, Alex said firmly. We have to use their underestimation of us to our advantage. They don't believe we're capable of such a direct assault. After a tense moment, Vasquez nodded. All right, Turner, assemble your team. You have my authorization. Alex quickly selected his team. Elite soldiers with a mix of combat and technical skills. Each member had proven themselves in previous skirmishes and could be trusted to handle the high-stakes mission. Among them were Sergeant Davis, a demolition expert, and Lieutenant Chen, a tech specialist. The team gathered in a secure briefing room. Alex outlined the plan detailing the infiltration route and key objectives. We'll use the old sewer tunnels to get close to the mothership, he 
explained. From there, we'll move it stealthily. Our primary target is their command center. We disable it, and their forces on the ground lose coordination. Sergeant Davis nodded. And if we get caught? We won't, Alex said, his tone brooking no argument. Well, what if we do? Point, we yeah. improvise. Yeah. Our priority is the mission. The team suited up, mean. checking their weapons Down and equipment. As they prepared to move out, the ground shook violently, and an yeah. alarm blared throughout the base. The Zarathians had targeted the headquarters directly. Move, move, move. Alex shouted, leading his team Which through the shaking corridors. Debris fell around them as they made their way to the exit. Outside, the scene was even more chaotic. Zarathian fighters strafed the area, and explosions lit up the night sky. The team navigated through the burning streets, using the chaos to their advantage. They reached the entrance to the sewer tunnels and slipped inside. The sounds of battle muffled above them. The tunnels were dark and damp. But Alex <clears throat> led the way with unwavering determination. They moved swiftly, avoiding patrols and security systems. As they neared the exit point, the faint hum of the Zarathian mothership's engines grew louder, vibrating through the tunnel walls. We're close, Alex whispered, signaling for the team to halt. He peered around the corner and saw the massive hull of the mothership looming above. It was an intimidating sight, a testament to Zarathian engineering and arrogance. Alex signaled for the team to move out. They emerged from the tunnel and approached the mothership's access point, a maintenance hatch typically overlooked. Lieutenant Shun hacked the security panel, and the hatch hissed open. Remember, stay low and silent, Alex reminded his team as they slipped inside the mothership. The interior was a labyrinth of metallic corridors and alien technology. They moved with practiced efficiency, avoiding detection. As they approached the command center, the tension was palpable. Alex could feel the weight of the mission pressing down on him. Failure was not an option. They reached the command center door, and Alex prepared a breach. On my signal, he whispered, setting the charges. The door exploded inward, and the team stormed inside. Weapons ready. Inside, they found the Zarathian command officers taken completely by surprise. Uh, Alex and his me. team quickly subdued them, securing the room. Alex moved to the central console and began downloading crucial data. We did it, Sergeant Davis said, a note of disbelief in his voice. Not yet, Alex replied, scanning the information. His eyes widened as he uncovered the Zarathian's Take backup action. plan to destroy Earth if their command was compromised. We've got another problem. The dim pulsating lights of the Zarathian mothership cast eerie shadows as Alex and his team moved silently through the labyrinthine corridors. The alien architecture, with its seamless metallic surfaces and glowing glyphs, felt both advanced and alien, a stark contrast to the battle-ravaged Earth they had left behind. Stay alert, Alex whispered, his voice barely audible. Their security is tighter here. Lieutenant Chin nodded, her fingers flying over her handheld device, bypassing the ship's security systems. We're good for now, but we need to keep moving. Their internal sensors will pick up on us eventually. As they advanced, Alex couldn't help but notice the efficiency with which his team operated. Sergeant Davis, ever the stalwart, took point, his sharp eyes scanning for any threats. Private Evans and Corporal Martinez covered the flanks, their movements synchronized like a well-oiled machine. Their mission was clear disable the Zarathian command center and retrieve any intelligence that could aid humanity's defense. The stakes were high, and Alex knew failure wasn't an option. The team halted as Davis signaled a hand well, stop. Ahead, a patrol of Zarathian soldiers time. marched okay. in rigid formation. Their exoskeletal armor glinted under the alien lights, and their movements were mechanical, almost insect-like. We'll have to wait for them to pass, Davis murmured his grip tightening on his weapon. They pressed themselves against the corridor walls, holding their breath as the patrol passed. The tension was palpable, but the team remained disciplined, their training taking over. Once the patrol was out of earshot, they continued, navigating the winding passageways. The deeper they went, the more they encountered signs of Zarathian dominance. Control rooms filled with holographic displays, hangars housing sleek fighter ships, and heavily guarded security checkpoints. As they approached the core of the ship, Alex's thoughts drifted to the intelligence they hoped to gather. 
The Zarathians' arrogance was their greatest weakness, and Alex intended to exploit it fully. They reached a massive door marked with intricate alien symbols. She unhacked the security panel, her device emitting a series of beeps and clicks. The door slid open with a soft hiss, revealing the command center. The room was vast, dominated by a central console surrounded by various alien interfaces. The Zarathian command officers, oblivious to the intrusion, were engrossed in their duties. Alex signaled his team, and they moved in swiftly, neutralizing the officers with precision. Alex approached the central console and began downloading the data. Chun, monitor their communication channels. We need to know if they've detected us. Chun nodded, her eyes focused on the screen. So far, so good, but we're on borrowed time. As the data transfer progressed, Alex scanned through the information, his expression growing graver. They've underestimated us, but they're not fools. They have contingency plans. Sergeant Davis glanced over. What kind of contingency plans? A secondary command center, Alex replied. If we disable this one, the backup will take over. We need to find and disable it too. The revelation added another layer of complexity to their mission. Time was of the essence, and they couldn't afford any delays. Got it, Shin said, her voice steady. I've pinpointed the location of the secondary command center. It's deeper within the ship, heavily fortified. Then we move, Alex commanded, his resolve unwavering. The team navigated deeper into the mothership, encountering increased resistance. Zarathian soldiers seemed to be everywhere, their alertness heightened. The air was thick with the sense of impending conflict. In a narrow corridor, they faced a heavily armed patrol. A firefight erupted, the sounds of gunfire and alien weaponry clashing in the confined space. Alex and his team fought with relentless determination, their training and teamwork proving superior to the Zarathian soldiers' brute strength. As they pushed forward, Alex noticed a subtle shift in the ship's vibrations. They're rerouting power to the secondary command center. They know we're here. The realization spurred them on. They reached another secure door, behind which lay their target. Chun worked her magic on the panel, and the door slid open, revealing the secondary command center. Inside, Zarathian officers scrambled to respond to the breach. Alex's team moved with... Poison. Right here. Coco. Three, two, one, action. Well, I will see you in a month, a week, who knows? But I will see you then. Bye for now.